In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a sketchbook using basic materials that are available to anyone. You will need the following items. Paper that measures 25 inches by 38 inches. You will cut or tear that paper into sets of sheets that measure 12 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. How many sheets of paper you will need will depend on how many signatures you end up adding to your book. You will also need two sheets of chipboard that measure six and three quarters inch by 10 inches. Now these sizes can all change according to what your needs are, but if you are one of my students, these are the sizes we are going to use. You will also need masking tape, packing tape, duct tape, glue and water mixture, and magazines. You will also need scissors as well. Using the two sheets of chipboard, cut out and collage images on the front of each piece. The front cover piece should be a self-portrait. The back cover piece should be how others see you. Use a glue and water mixture to glue your images down. As you add more images on top of others that might overlap other pieces of images, make sure you add some more glue and water in between the layers. Using packing tape, Cover both the front and back cover completely. Start on one side and overlap the tape as you work across the page. Make sure to let the tape go over the ends of the top and bottom. Fold the excess tape over to the back. Using the 25 inch by 38 inch paper or whatever big sheet of paper you are using, fold it in half, crease the fold, and tear it. Repeat this process until you have sheets that measure 12 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Then fold the sheets in half and crease the folds, but do not cut any smaller. If you need more sheets, then get another sheet of the big paper and cut or tear it down to uh, create more sheets. Place two of the folded sheets side by side with the folded side of each touching each other. Put masking tape down the center of the sheets. Fold the paper over on the tape and then add another folded sheet right beside it. Repeat this process until you have five sets of sheets taped together. These five sets of sheets are now a signature. Trim the excess tape off of the ends of the signature. Create more signatures until you have enough to create your sketchbook. Check with the teacher to see if there's a specific number of signatures they want you to make. Line up two signatures just like you did with the folded sheets of paper. Place a piece of masking tape down the center to connect the signatures. Keep doing this until all of your signatures are taped together. When you are finished with your signatures and finished taping the front and back cover, you should have a front cover, sets of signatures all attached to each other, and the back cover. Next, lay duct tape down and carefully line up the covers so there is enough space in the center for the signatures. Then press down and fold the ends of the tape over. Place your signatures in the center. It should stick nicely to the duct tape binding. Place another piece of duct tape on the center of the signatures and the cover. Do this inside the front cover and inside the back cover. Now we are going to add pockets. Add at least one vertical pocket and one horizontal pocket. These can be done on the inside of the front and the back cover. You can glue down decorative papers or decorative tapes first to cover up some of the chipboard. Using some kind of decorative paper or cardstock, fold over an edge, crease the fold. Line the pocket up so that papers that are placed in the pocket will not fall out. Lay packing tape over the paper, but make sure to leave an opening. Make sure extra tape is going over the top and bottom. Fold the excess tape over to the front. Keep laying tape over the pocket until the pocket is covered. You may add more than one pocket if you want. Repeat the same process for a horizontal pocket, but please make sure that you have an opening to put stuff in the pocket. 
Make sure to put tape on the pockets that go over the edge of the covers. You can cut the corners of the tape like this so that the tape folds over nicely. Write your name neatly on the binding or have someone else write it for you. Also, add your class period on the binding or check with your teacher to see what they want you to put on the binding with your name.